the Timberline Lake. I found this little landing on top of a rock that overlooks the lake on the inside of the lake. So like the views are right here. So like the views, it's beautiful, but the really pretty views are over there. So I'm on the Timberland Lake Trail, 5.5 miles out and back. Uh, you can see on the map from the road up. Here we go. I'm not even like 50 steps in, I'm already getting eaten alive by mosquitoes. So, I'm gonna get some spray. And I'm hot. Super hot. Just uh, up the hill, the trail splits. Left goes to the Colorado Trail, right goes to Timberline Lake. We're going right. Father's Day. So since I have no cell phone service, I'm going to send my dad a happy Father's Day text. And it's gonna take forever because it's literally, I don't know if you guys can see, it's literally like old school texting because I can't seem to get my phone connected via Bluetooth. The trail opens up to a meadow. Just about to bloom. Kind of look back where we just came. Little creek walk. Meadow. Look how gorgeous that is. This is me right now. <laughs> cold water. That is some cold water, man. Ow, my feet hurt so bad. That was cold, up to my knees. And I wasn't alone, thankfully. I had some company. Starting a little incline. I'm going to go. Another string crossing. I did it again.
final push up. Legs just beyond this hill. snow back here but nothing too bad there's a campsite but it's a little close to the water The trail's real boggy. So on top of this rock, there's a little landing. A little lumpy, but I might sit here for lunch and uh, enjoy the views. So I came in, turn around over there. So I've walked all the way around. I'm at the Timberline Lake. I found this little landing on top of a rock that overlooks the lake on the inside of the lake so like the views are right here so like the views it's beautiful but the really pretty views are over there so i'm kind of facing the wrong direction if i were to camp here but it's 10 40 so i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a break here get some lunch i'm kind of hungry drink some water and then you know maybe go explore um looking behind me it doesn't look like there's a whole lot of campgrounds um, and there's people over there that probably have a really killer campsite right now so um, I'm probably just gonna I mean, it's only 1040 so I've got the whole day to explore this area and find an awesome campground so I'm really excited so I'm gonna get some food and put some more bug spray on because the mosquitoes are real here it took me about two hours and maybe 20 minutes to get here um, to this exact spot. Now that was me taking my absolute time filming, taking pictures, um, talking to people. Very first couple miles it's very steady and then that last like quarter half mile is pretty much uphill but it's not very long so push through it and then you're rewarded with this beautiful lake i'm so happy i came here you know the holy cross wilderness has never disappointed me so i i love this place get out there and enjoy so i'm gonna go get some food I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up, but there's a swarm of skeeters. Holy moly. Glad I kept going because there's something over here worth looking at. But you know what? It's probably boggy. So I just came from over there, and that's where my foot got drenched here it's actually a big rock right there and uh this campfire or campsite with this view it's kind of a tree in my way but as it is. I'm pretty sure I read that there's a fire ban here. Man, I wish I would have brought my hammock. The perfect spot to hang your hammock right there. I knew that would be the case. As soon as I unpacked it, I knew I was going to want it. <laughs> okay, so as much as I love this camp spot, it's pretty exposed and the wind's ripping through. I'm going to follow the lake. There's that rock right there. It looks like there might be something up there. So I'm going to go check that out and uh, 
it's only 12, 12 o'clock, so we have plenty of time to explore. And if worst case scenario, I come back to this spot. I mean, it's gorgeous. It's just a little buggy and it's a little close to the water, so, and the wind. Wind's ripping right over that mountain and coming down this valley, and <laughs> so it's a little chilly. So I'm gonna find something a little bit more um, sheltered. Another crossing. All of the wildflowers. So here's the view looking down where I just came from. I was um, gonna camp towards the left. So I'm on top of those rocks on the trail. What a beautiful view. guys I finally decided on camp after like 14 attempts. Let me pan around for you. A little grim. Okay, I got a camera all packed up. Got my trace. First things first. Easy peasy. And now I go down. Something's rolling in. Still looks pretty ominous. The sun's out right now. But it's been raining. Alright. I found a camp spot on the trail. I'm so happy. Now here's my camp, and the sun is out, you guys. I'm on this little rock. Here's the front of my tent. And you can see there's the Colorado Trail. There's a creek down there, and then the car is that way. bright. So glad it's out. It's uh, ooh, it's bright. Anyways, um, it is five o'clock, just after five. I got my water. I got camp set up. So now it's dinner time. So for dinner tonight, I think I have a stew or a soup. I can't remember which one exactly. So let's see. Which one it is, shall we? Surprise, surprise. Oh. 
Oh, I grabbed the Cuban coconut rice and black beans by Backpacker Pantry. So that's what we're having for dinner tonight. That is so good. You can really taste the coconut. And I put my jammies on and I've heated some water. So I'm gonna make some raspberry leaf tea. So the sun is going behind that mountain. And it's gonna get cold here in a minute. Thought I'd enjoy a little bit of A little bit of the evening with some tea. Oh, that's nice. Perfect. I couldn't have done that better if I tried. <laughs> Got it right to where I wanted it. That tea smells real good. better night than I anticipated. When I was up there at Timberline Lake, it was just so daggone cold with that storm. I made the absolute right decision to come down here and find camp on the, you know, trail here right by, you know, off the trail. Plus, I'm closer to the car and I don't have to do that creek crossing when it's like 36 degrees in the morning. So, I'm pretty stoked about that. So I'm just going to sip on my tea, and unless something else happens, I'm probably going to call it a night. I might try to get some sunset. There's a rock behind me. It has like a little overlook. There's some trees in the way, but I'm going to try to get the sunset. Uh, I, I'm not sure. I think the sun's setting over there, though. But I'll get something for you if it's good. All right, guys. If I don't see you in a little bit, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Just a second ago, it was clear, blue, beautiful skies, and now I'm in a cloud. It's been sprinkling, so. There's a little bit of blue over there. But it looks like it's rolling right over me, whatever that was. And just like that, it's blue skies again. And there's actually some views over there with the trees. It's a beautiful day in Colorado and I saw the most stars I've ever seen in my life last night. Just from right here. I didn't even have to close my rain fly. Beautiful night. Oh my gosh, the stars were amazing. Anyways, so big day today. I might go to the canyon lands. We'll see. A uh, total change of place. That's how I roll. You know, I get something in my mind. I'm like, let's do it. All right, you guys, camp's packed up, left no trace. So I'm gonna do the short hike back to the car and I'll update you in a little bit. I made it back to the car. Not very many people here. There's two cars in the parking lot, which means I pretty much had this place to myself last night other than one other person who's probably at the lake. Overall, beautiful trail, wonderful experience, highly recommend it. If you've never backpacked before, this would be a great first time backpacking trip. It's pretty steady grade until that last like half mile or so, but overall it's beautiful, it's steady, views are stunning and it's very peaceful back here. All right guys, so I'm gonna go figure out what the next leg of this trip is, and I'll keep you all posted. Talk to you later. So you know how I thought I lost my camp shoes?
my faith in humanity is restored. I left him in my car. 